Welcome to Bible Logos. My name is Tamiko Greeley and I am your broadcast host. Today, I am excited to introduce part one of the message, Faith Alignment. Please like and share this message on social media with your friends and family. All right, here is part one of Faith Alignment. And let's now go to the Word of God which today is going to come from two passages of scripture. One is found in Mark, the gospel according to St. Mark, and the other is found the epistle, in the epistle of James, the brother of Jesus. I'm going to read both of these scriptures from the King James Version of the Bible. And so at Mark 11, verses 22 and 23, the scriptures read as follows. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Over in James, that second chapter, beginning at verse 17, skipping through some passages down to uh, verse 20, it reads as follows. Faith, if it has not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, but I have works. Show me your faith without your works, but I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is one God, but you do well. However, the devils also believe and tremble. But will you know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Just before you take your seats, just hug on two or three people. And tell them to remember the name. Tell them to remember the name. Remember the name. We are continuing in the series of teaching that we started a few weeks ago, which is called Faith That Pleases God. And for today's message topic, I would like to use as a title, Faith Alignment. Faith Alignment. Hashtag Faith Says. And hashtag Faith Does. Faith Says and Faith Does. And we've been studying the scriptures to let us know that if we are going to please God, there is a requirement that we live by faith. How many folk in here today are saved? Folk in here today have a relationship with God. If you raised your hand, God commands that you live by faith. If you raised your hand, if you didn't raise your hand, but you know it's so, but you didn't raise your hand because you're being stubborn, <laughs> it still applies to you. God requires that you live by faith. And as a matter of fact, the scripture lets us know that without faith, it is impossible to please him. Do you know there's no way you can do it without faith? No way to please him without faith. You say, but Lord, I'm very liberal in my giving. I'm outside feeding the poor. I'm, you know, I'm faithful in church. I serve faithfully. I'm very committed. I love to study your Bible. And with all of that, the scripture says, without faith. While all of those things are great and all of, the things are, all of those things are good, he says, without faith, it is still impossible to please him. And we've been talking uh, about the distinctions between faith and hope. 
We learned last week that there's a difference between faith and hope. We've been talking about how to distinguish faith from belief. And while hope is important and while belief is important, those are still distinguished from faith. Because faith is a conviction that the word of God is true. Faith is a conviction. You know how, you, how convicted you are or your conviction, how strong your conviction is with respect to your salvation? When you accepted the Lord, Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior, you confessed with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believed in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Some of you did that yesterday. Some of you did that 50 years ago. Some of you did that even longer than that. But whenever it was, you became convicted that that's the case. Now, how do you know you saved? How do you know? That's the only way that you know. Somebody said faith. There is no physical evidence that you are saved. The way that you know that you're saved is because God said it and you believe it. There's nothing else that guarantees your salvation other than the fact that you have clung to the word of God. Even when you stumbled and failed. Even when you messed up and made a mistake. Even when you knew you did something and told somebody and said things that you shouldn't have said and told people off the way that you shouldn't have, you still knew that you were saved. Nobody could take it from you. Nobody could talk you out of it. Nobody could steal it from you because it's a conviction. And that's how faith operates with everything with respect to God. Welcome back. We are just getting started, but I am already excited about this word. Tune in tomorrow for part two of the message, Faith Alignment. And don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and family. I am Tamiko Greeley and I want you to remember that the sower sows the word and therefore it is with the same measure you meet that it shall be measured unto you again.